Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So a lovely day here in Florida. I'm down here for a couple of weeks, just getting ahead on some pre-preseason training. Our preseason starts at the end of February, beginning of March. So I'm just starting to ramp up the intensity. So as you guys might've noticed up until now, it's been mainly technical in my off-season training series, but today we're gonna open the legs up a little bit, start to do some more match specific scenarios and get some sprints in. So we're gonna get a good warm up in. Let's get into it. Wow. Tip, when you're training in the heat, coconut water. So much better than any sports drinks out there.
Moving into the final part of the session, I'm doing three four pitch sprints. So we've got three sets of corner flags. I'm gonna start at the top. It's an acceleration up to the middle, building up my speed gradually. And once I get to the middle, that's where I should be hitting top speed, accelerating through, trying to maintain that. 
and when I get three quarters the way along the pitch that's where I'm going to slow it down again and then once I get to the end recover back up to the top and complete that three times and then by that third one I should be really activated everything firing and hopefully hitting close to my top speed and I'm going to be running in socks actually so I'm taking my boots off just to give the muscles in my feet a chance to work because when you're in boots sometimes you're not fully using the full ball of your foot you're not fully flexing and extending so it's good to get the shoes off sometimes to work on that foot strength because if you have strong feet you're going to minimize injuries throughout the body because a lot of injuries actually start through weak feet because if you have weak feet some other area of your body has to overcompensate and that's how you can get imbalances which can lead to injuries so once in a while maybe once a week i'll take the shoes off and get a little barefoot action or at least with socks on so let's get to the top and get these three sprints done guys so that's the session complete just gonna stop my watch and get the data for you so we're out here for almost an hour and 45 minutes including the warm-up we covered 5.5 miles in that session so between everything that obviously includes collecting balls every time I've kicked it into the goal or missed so that includes everything but we covered about five and a half miles which is pretty good because in a full 90 minutes especially as a winger you're probably covering between six and eight miles on a typical intense match so it's good to get those miles up as well get those in the legs get them used to covering those distances so let's have a look at the speed i covered at the end my goal was to get a minimum of 20 miles per hour and i hit 20.9 so almost 21 miles per hour so we're already at a good speed which is excellent now my goal is to build that up, get some plyometric work in the gym, get some strengthening and get that time up to between 21 and 22 miles per hour. That's where my top speed typically lies. So happy with that start, obviously up in the tempo today. Gonna have a full body stretch here at the end just to make sure I'm taking care of my recovery. We've been really putting a lot on the muscle fibers today. So you wanna stretch those out. Hope you can take away some of the exercises. If you're getting ready for pre-season as well, try some of those out. Pretty intense stuff today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.